Good afternoon. We are also glad that you are here. My name is Kelly Clegg Neal, and I am the chair of the Central Alabama Handel Festival design team. We are delighted that you chose to come and hear this, this beautiful music. We've listened to it since last night. And there has not been a time, even when it wasn't polished, that it wasn't worth your time to hear. And you are going to get to hear the final results. So just be ready to be blown away. That's all I can say. It is that good. Uh, I'd like to introduce to you the choirs and the directors of this, this group. So when I uh, announce that, if you would stand up and wave so they can know where you are. Okay. The Carolyn Choir from Hartsville First United Methodist Church yes. is under the direction of Lily Cotton. The Celebration Rangers from All Saints United Methodist Church, Holy Cross Episcopal, and Woodlawn United Methodist Church. Uh, under my direction, uh, our Chaplain and Rangers from Silicaga First United Methodist Church, under the direction of Johnny Tigerswood. <laughs> Exaltation Rangers from uh, Golden Springs Baptist Church, under the direction of Dunaway Connor. <laughs>
music by Nick Henson, you know that he is a wonderful, wonderful friend of the Central Alabama Handel Festival. Nick, we are delighted to have you here. Awesome. 
We're so excited to be your first experience because we've got some fantastic music to share with you today. So that was exultation to get things kind of uh, started and kind of spicy and fun. We're going to pull it back a bit now with an arrangement of Whispering Hope by Patricia Rowland.
right away, you can get a sense of what handbells can do with two very contrasting pieces. Very rhythmic, very lyrical. By the way, um, anyone folks that have read their whole but hand chime real quick, so if you haven't had it. So these instruments, that's the first time you've heard those, hand chimes. Essentially, someone said, hey, you know that tuning fork kind of thing? Let's make an instrument out of it. And that's what they did. It's really just a handheld tuning fork that has a clapper mechanism on the outside that then they manipulate to make the sound happen. And it creates just gorgeous, gorgeous sounds that contrast beautifully with the bells themselves. So really great way to make sure you to use those in the, in the piece. We're going to move into some Christmas now. Our next one, the Herald Angels Sing, as you can expect, will have some uh, Christmas students that have angels in it, specifically. And I got a cheat, I'm sorry. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Angels We Have Heard on High, and Angels from the Realms of Glory. So all three tunes are associated in this. This is arranged by Joel Rainey, and if you were here last year, he was where I was standing. He was the clinician last year, and just a fantastic arranger musician. Um, if you were here last year, I heard he played the piano for you. I bet that was beautiful and amazing. He's such a wonderful musician. Um, so we're very excited to share with you his arrangement of the Herald Angels. We have some piano on this one too, so keep your ears open.
what I really enjoy a lot about Joel Rainey's arrangements is how well he incorporates so many different techniques. And those don't just bring. You saw about five different other things they can do. You saw a lot of shakes in that one. You saw mallet use in a lot of folks, what they were doing. You actually saw folks putting their thumb on the bell while they were ringing, a thumb damp technique, that's called. Uh, there were marvelous in that one. There's a mark in that one. Was there a ring touch title at the end? Is that the end one? Yeah, so ring touch. And it was in the echo. So like seven different techniques just with one instrument of what we could do. It's just fascinating what, what this is. So you've caught on by now that, as, as Kelly mentioned, I get very excited about handbells. I, it's, I do. It's been a part of my life since I was nine. And I do teach it full time every day of the week at a school with kids. My largest class is seventh and eighth graders, which might scare you a little bit. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> By largest class, I don't mean like 10 or 20 or 30 or 40. I have 54 seventh and eighth graders ringing bells at one time. And they don't kill each other. It actually we make some good music and some really great stuff. Um, as I joked with them earlier yesterday when I introduced that, this is true. I, we are on a six-day cycle. I teach them five days a week of those six days, five of those six days. Our class is immediately after lunch, so they're either really tired or they smell or both. This is how they kind of falls. So, but they're just one of six classes that I have all the adults at the school where I teach. And no, you can't have my job. It's not. <laughs> but I love what I do. This, this instrument, just, I have a passion for it. And it's a part of been part of that for so long, and I'm hoping I've got a dream that someday we'll get a lot more bells into schools, into kids' hands beyond where we are now. So we'll see how things go in the future here. Um, we're going to stay within the Christmas season. Glad Tidings of Joy by Boyd Larson incorporates two other Christmas students, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen and Pat Pan. So you can listen for those two students. This one has also a lot of really fun mallet work in it. So please enjoy.
the songs that I'm directing in my I'd rather play that one. That one looks like a lot of other ones. Yeah. Lover Yeah, that was so good. So good. Um, it was so good I forgot what I was going to say about this. Totally awesome. It probably doesn't have to come That's okay. We are going to talk, our next piece is Celtic Farewell, Linda Land. A gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous tune. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are fortunate to have food with it. It's just a wonderful trend about this connection to the food part and the bell part. So often a lot of pieces when they're written like this, it's like sometimes the average metal part is just a, a rehash of what the bell is. <coughs> this isn't that. This has a great, great connection between the two and a really good soul line between each one. So a wonderful connection. Um, this is a piece I use a lot at my school. And it's a great teaching piece with the echo from the beginning and a lot of that one. Um, but it's in that uh, three four time period, so it really good one is the place that they're using the four chords. So a very nice uh, connection to that three four year old style. We're using the like twenty parallels.
just absolutely beautiful writing and absolutely performing on the call. Believe it or not, right? it does go so fast, right? It always, always does. It goes so fast and we this concert that we spent hours and hours, literally hours and hours, right? Um, but it comes down to this week's last, what is it, 20, 20 ish minutes? It's an amazing concert here. But it really is work every minute that they put the work in. And speaking of that, I would like to acknowledge every director one more time. We can raise your hands, please. The groups are where they are before the directors brought them to have a student prepare. And then my goal is to get all 13 of them to agree on something. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing on that. I'm glad that we do that together. No, it's, it really has been fantastic. The whole thing so I appreciate all the work that we've been doing. Uh, our final piece for you all today is Holy Manna. It's an arrangement that I did for my church group, uh, Ocean Presbyterian Church, the festival we were there in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, if any of you are Presbyterian here, you might have a purple book, the Glory of God book, you know, um, on our dedication Sunday, which I think I put in this. Uh, February 2nd, 2014, we had our annual dedication Sunday that day, and I wanted to treat them with something that was connected with that middle. So I literally went to the back of the table and I was like, okay, what tune is everywhere in the signal? And Holy Anna was that tune. And I was like, okay, let's go for this. So it was a gift to them uh, for their dedication Sunday. Um, and it's just such a, a neat piece of play. It's kind of a, actually a little bit of a, I probably couldn't get it though. It's just not, not purposely, it's just kind of there. Um, but it's a fun piece, really great tune. Dun, da, 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 da. That is the tune you might recognize. Um, we are so glad that we had this opportunity to share our time with all of you. We're so glad that those of you this has been your first concert experience with Bells that we could share this discussion with you all. Hope it was worth it. I think it was very so good. But we are glad to spend very happy to close with Holy Night.
Thank you. 